Okay, getting a few people asking, how do you rig the new Ocean Angler slider sliding lure? So let's uh, go ahead and I'll show you how to do it. First of all, take it out of the packet. This is the sliding head part. This is the skirt part that the snapper bites. And first thing you notice about our skirts is they are very strong and it's very hard to pull out the little rubber tassels because we've made a little rubber boot up here and tied it on with braid, pulled it tight, put a bit of glue on there as well so the snapper can't pull them out. We've also made them a bit tougher so it's harder for the snapper to bite them off. We've also increased our hook size by using a stiff red assist cord with fluorocarbon in the middle which keeps our hooks up amongst the skirt so we can use bigger and heavier hooks to uh, counteract our snapper's teeth so they can't bend or bite the hooks as well they're actually the same hooks as jitterbugs so nice and strong and they can't pull the, the little tassels out so you can expect to catch uh, 10 snapper we've had up to 30 snapper before we've had to change the skirt so that's a good benefit of using Ocean Angler sliding lures. What size leader am I using? I'm using 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's the size I like to use and I'm using about a 2 metre length of it. So we'll pretend this is a 2 metre length and the reason I'm using 30 pound is because when that goes onto there this snapper comes and bites us but and there you know occasionally his teeth might come in contact with the fluorocarbon so that's why I like to use 30 pound notice with the head it has a front and a back look on the top so it's a wedge shape thin at the front fatter at the back so it actually swims and wobbles when it gets pulled through the water so what you do is you put your leader through the middle here it slides on this nice hard plastic uh, tubing that we've put inside and um, and uh, widen the end so it can't fall out so that slides up and down really nicely and then we tie the fluorocarbon onto the solid ring here. I just use a simple uh, uni knot. So uni knot with uh, three, four turns in it. One, two, three, four. Pull it tight. Pull the uni knot down, can't use my teeth because I have to put my head in front of the camera so I'll use these little neat pliers that pull it down, excuse the snivels, got a bit of a cold at the moment, chop it off, we're getting some of these little cool pliers in soon so they're pretty uh, good for the micro jigging and this kind of thing, pull it up and then your head slides up and down your your 30 pound fluoro, there is the uh, skirt part so what happens when it goes down that pulls away when it gets to the bottom the skirts away from the head that's why it's kind of irresistible to snapper um, yeah good hooks stiff assist rig to keep the hooks up in the skirt and the tassels won't get pulled out so that's how you do it pretty simple they're in shops now uh, go and give them a go let us know what you think and how you get on with them. Thanks for watching.